Hello guys and welcome to Zone the Enders HD Collection and today we'll be doing Zone the Enders the original. So I've got a really big place in my heart for this game. This game was a huge part of my childhood and I played a lot of this game back in the day on the PS2. So to bring it to you guys is really exciting. So I won't be talking in any cutscenes so and there are quite a few cutscenes so here we go. So we will be playing on very hard. So new game. So I'm not the best in this game, but I think I know what I'm doing. So very hard sh should be doable. I haven't played in a while, so I might be a bit rusty, but we'll see how it goes. Right. Let's get into it. And more cutscenes. secure target Alpha after we enter through the colony shaft. You go in through the skylight and slash and night ray. I'll carry out diversionary tactics. After that, you will confirm target Bravo is secure. Roger. Viola. Yes, sir. Don't let your personal feelings intrude. Over and out. Well, it's time to play.
Yoshi, boy of endless. Now, what will you do? Will you escape all by yourself? Or will you punch me out to save your friends? I guess you have to suffer. If they're wrong, at least they will be able to teach I've taken control of Sector 03 by driving away the flies that scourge our Earth. Still no reaction from Target Bravo. I've managed to get inside the main shaft. Don't forget, Bio. If the target is still alive, you are to withdraw. No, I'll just destroy it. Don't underestimate them, or you'll end up dead. That's what I'm waiting for. Combat operation. We're into some gameplay finally. Let's go. Oh. Alright, everything's working fine. Let's rock and roll. You are correct. You did win. Who are you? I am Ada, the advanced battle computer of this Jehuti. I detect that you are not the frame runner who was scheduled to pilot the orbital frame. No, I'm not. I just ran in here while trying to escape. Whoa! 
I have detected several targets exterior to the hangar, unable to confirm the exact number from this position. Move outside following the direction of the arrow. How do I do that? Do you want me to explain how to manipulate the frame? Please! Roger. Yeah, so we'll skip all this stuff. This is the end of the training session. It is dangerous to go out now. Let us get the Metatron ore from the nearest item box. Metatron? What is... It is an essential element of Jehuti. It is needed to automatically repair the body. Before going out, you must first get the Metatron ore. For the Healy Healies. We have obtained the Metatron ore. Completed automatic repairs to the body. Now, following the arrow as indicated, move outside. Let's go. We need to jump some combat. Mummy heads. We have shot down the enemy. Probably want to fight near the buildings. We have shot down the enemy. I have detected a Type C orbital frame in front of our position. It is different from the ones we have previously experienced. Please be careful. Oh, let's go. to the next time. See you again, boy. The target has disappeared. I can detect no sign of vital activity. You mean that everyone is dead? That is correct. Good work, sir. This is Noman to all units. Report your current status. Slash here. I've arrived at Sector 03, and I'll start destroying the nearby buildings. This is Night Raid. I've also arrived at Sector 05. Should I just wait here? Yeah, that's correct. Viola, report your current status. No need for that. You know what happened. <laughs> Don't be so harsh. Your turn will come. Just be patient. condition has reached a level of minus eight. Your combat operation will suffer substantially at this level. I advise you to take some medication to stabilize your condition. I repeat, your mental condition is declining. The message is being received from a commercial broadcast. I shall patch it through. This is Atlantis. Whoever is aboard Jehuti, can you read me? The unidentified person aboard Jehuti, do you read me? I can understand how you must feel. Listen to me, boy. I saw everything you did on my monitor. I also know that you're just a juvenile civilian, and you've done all of this. But I didn't have any other choice. I was so scared. I couldn't help it. I'm not accusing you of anything. You proved you can operate the system. Listen, I must ask you to do something for us. 
Can you deliver that orbital frame to our base? What? We are a civilian transportation company, and we've been asked to carry that orbital frame, Jehuti, to Mars. Didn't you see any of our people in the vicinity of Jehuti? I don't know. Alan must have been there. He's the frame runner we sent there. I said I don't know, didn't I? By the time I got there, everyone was dead. I see. He was supposed to operate that frame. Now we need your help. I know you can do it. Please, help us. Of course, I'm talking business. We'll pay you for your troubles. Enough to allow you to live anywhere. Earth, Mars, anywhere at all. Please. No, I don't want to. Listen. No, you listen. I could get attacked again. And who the hell are you anyways? Why do you want this machine so much? You fought well. We're just asking for a little more of your help. Please. I suppose you want me to kill again. Well... I want nothing more to do with any of you. Go kill or whatever you want. Just leave me out of it. I've got to be going. Then a lot more people will die. What? Everybody will die. Your friends, your family, every single one of them. We can't let them get a hold of Jehuti. If they do, it will be the end of this colony. No, it may be the end of civilization as we know it. You must, please. Help us. Move it, Leo! Help, Leo! You say I can, but how? I can't drive this thing. Yes, you can. I saw you do it, and I know you can do it again. Leo! Please, help us. All right. I'll do it just this one time, but that's all I'll do. Okay, that's all we ask. All right, if you say so. Thank you. But I want you to remember one thing. I will never help you kill anybody. Maybe killing is all right for you people, but it's not with me. I understand. So, we have a business deal. The person in charge is headed to you right now. I can't get through to him, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. Oh, what's your name? Leo. Okay, Leo. I'm Elena Weinberg, second in charge of Atlantis. Just call me Elena. I can really trust you, can't I? Well, we don't kill indiscriminately, as you seem to think. Okay, I'll see you later. I will explain the mission plan. The mission is to transport this Jehuti to Mars in preparation for a battle on Mars. First, we need to rendezvous with the civilian freighter Atlantis and leave the colony of Antilia. However, Jehuti has just had an overhaul and therefore has only minimum system capabilities. Jehuti's capabilities will depend on how many function modules we can install. First of all, we need to transplant the necessary modules from the local server in this area. Let me indicate the local server with a marker. You are to proceed to that location. Oh, finally! Let's go! We're talking again. We have obtained the program. We have obtained the scouting mode module. It enables us to fight against more than one enemy at a time. A lock-on related operation has been newly added. Let me bring up a window to explain its operation. That is totally unnecessary, thank you very much. This is the end of the training session. The module we have obtained allows us to select the command menu by pressing the start button. You can save the current status by choosing save from the command menu. Oh, some action! Let us avoid unnecessary battles. There is another local server in this area. Obtain the flying mode module from it. Press the start button to view its location on the wide range radar map. The green light points to the local server. Let's engage everyone, shall we? We will hold battle position. So you can see my health bar next to the level one and my little white bar underneath it. So that's my XP level. Oh. Every time I kill someone, I get XP. 
and when you level up, you take less damage, you do more damage. So we want to level up as much as possible. But on uh, the higher difficulties, every building of or every any part of the colony these guys destroy or you destroy lowers your level or takes XP off you, I should say. Ah, Tommy. Damage to the surroundings increasing. Stop blowing stuff up. Ooh. Okay, that hurts. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained Oof. another drawn aura. We will cease battle position. But yeah, just to warn you, Ada talks a lot. So the enemies you see at the moment, so the skinny ones with the dual blades are raptors. And those big bulbous ones are called mummy heads. Mummy heads have no medic capability whatsoever. But they do have some pretty gnarly ranged weapons. Stop taking my XP off me. Let's go and install this stuff. We have obtained the program. We have obtained the flying mode module. It allows us to move to other areas by choosing area change from the command menu. Let's go. Transformers. No, that's... It is Residential Block S02. I assume it is being attacked by orbital frames. Residential Block S02? That's where I live! Alright, so it's purple, it's got an arrow, so that's our next objective, but I'm not sure if it does it straight away, does it? No, it doesn't. So sometimes they'll have a green flashing question mark. And if that's the case, you want to go there. There's a hidden item. We are entering Residential Block S02. Father, you are alive, aren't you? Oh, I doubt it. Our first boss fight. Let's go. Father, I detect no human activity. You mean everyone is dead? That is a possibility, but it is more natural to assume the residents were previously evacuated. Damn it. I detect vital activity. I will zoom up on subject. Oh, selfies. Do you know this person? Yes. Let's just say he likes selfies a lot. If you die too. Well, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Enemy has our position and range. I have detected a second shot fired directly Damn. at us. Oh, I told you, didn't I? Uh, not why are you in that giant mech? What are you doing here? Not what the fuck are you in? You're the runner of Bravo? That frame's not a kid's toy. Get out of there now. I'm not a kid. There's the proof that you still are a kid. What? <laughs> I thought a woman would be plenty. <laughs> Alright, I'm your target. Let's dance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Thank you. How's your dome feeling? Nice head. Yes, you did. Come on, brain drain. I can read from the church, please. Excuse me. Why you take no damage? I don't want to be done now. Stop blowing holes in my colony. Ow. Confirmed ETR reaction from the target. Its main generator has ceased to function. We did it! I detect vital activity within the target. It appears that occupants are still alive. I am releasing the lock-on cursor. Target will be destroyed. Destroy it? Why? They can't fight anymore. Your question does not compute. Why not destroy it? Why should I kill when there's no reason to? I compute 17 clear reasons for such action. Most pressing is possibility of the target gaining access to another orbital frame and returning to battle at another time and place. Shut up! I refuse to destroy it. What's the point of attacking those who have no intention of attacking us? Do you wish me to state the reason? Don't bother! I have to conclude that your reaction is extremely illogical. Illogical actions by persons without sufficient capabilities make it very difficult to fulfill the mission. You mean I'm not good enough to do this, so I should just shut up and obey orders? That is the most sensible course. So you say. Target approaching limit of our range. Two seconds remaining. You may speak like a human, but you're still a heartless computer, aren't you? That is correct. What is the problem? Nothing. Forget it. Oh, these guys. I detect several mass-produced orbital frames behind us. They are in the vicinity of the church. What? So this? Enemy with a reinforced program. Be careful. Damage increasing due to battle. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. Right, so. 
Let's explain these new guys, shall we? Let's just kill this fool first. Ow. We have shot down the enemy. Right, so we've got another module over here. So we just got javelin, so this will give us a new weapon. And it's basically useless. We have obtained the program. We have obtained the device driver for the sub weapon. We can use it when we obtain ammunition for it. Well, we have to get bullets now. Obtain ammunition from the enemy or item box. To use the sub weapon, press the B button from a distance. We will hold battle position. Oh. Colony damage increasing due to battle. See, I'm actually losing XP. We have shot down the enemy. Need a heal as well. We are heading for the outer area of the battle zone. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. I'd like a little bit of healing. Thank you very much. But yeah, those new guys, they don't have any ranged attack. They're just punchies. So they're not too scary. But they can deal significant damage at close range if you, if you let them. I like that these twin sword guys, they're kind of like a mix. But their range is pretty bad. Position. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. What was that? We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. What are you? Where are you? We will hold battle position. We have shot down. Oh crap, I did that by accident. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron ore. Oh, I got some of my XP back. Are you alright? Are you hurt anywhere? No. So, you didn't find anybody out there? No. I'm sorry. For what? I shouldn't have yelled at you. Don't worry. I yelled at you too. But one thing that I want you to remember. You have to take care of your own life too. I understand. You did manage to escape. Didn't you, Father? Elvis. Elvis. What is it? At present, I have no idea. Look, they're serious about destroying the colony. Allow me to interrupt. I have to show you our mission orders. The aim of our current mission is to transfer this orbital frame to Mars so it can operate there. To accomplish that mission, our prime tasks are first to rendezvous with the civilian cargo ship, the Atlantis, and then to escape from Antilia in convoy. We're in a state of battle alert, but with your lack of experience, I recommend we avoid battle as much as possible. I have visual confirmation that the colony has lost command of the air. Unfortunately, we need more detailed information about the colony. That will require returning to the area where the factory was. Once we are there, I can transplant the necessary information from the local server. After that, we will break through the enemy's control of the airspace, avoiding battle as much as possible. We are then to head to the other side of the colony and gain access to the spaceport by the transportation elevator. Do you have any questions? I see something shining in the sky. It appears to be some kind of energy field, but I cannot define it. That is a summary of our mission so far. Please proceed directly to the factory. I'll do as you say. Here are the latest headlines. Baram forces are still attacking Antilia as part of their invasion. Rescue workers have begun attempts to save patients in the destroyed hospital, but a fierce fire is still raging and workers are having difficulty gaining access. All those poor people can do is wait for the release of death. That's all for now. 
How awful. Damn it! Listen, Leo. Can't you help those people? How? Just like you helped me. Can't you do that for them too? Allow me to interrupt. As I stated earlier, you should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on our mission. But... just for a little while. This orbital frame and all aboard have been ordered to participate in operations on Mars. In order to complete our mission, we should not engage in any other activities. Oh... I see. Also, judging from the capabilities of the frame runner, the risk rate for such an illogical action is very high. Ada, where is that hospital? Leo... I will pinpoint its location with a marker, but I must repeat, you should not undertake illogical actions that have no bearing on your mission. Yes, I know all that. I just asked. I'm scared too. Right, so that orange thing is obviously a rescue mission. Um, ooh, question mark. So we'll get a unique item now. We'll get something called Mummy. So what Mummy allows us to do is it allows us to regenerate ourselves, uh, use it as a sub-weapon. And it is very important, especially later on in the game. So we'll try and save who we can. I'll try and drag them away from their, uh, from their casualties and things like that. We just save buildings as well. which have vital activity. In such buildings, defenseless citizens unable to flee still remain. There are many people still in the buildings, Leo, so be careful. I know, but at least I have to exterminate the enemy in this area. We will hold battle position. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. We have shot down the enemy. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the passcode. I'm blowing we stuff up. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. Yeah, what you'll notice as well. We will cease battle position. What you'll notice as well is as um as they level up, they'll get more aggressive. Perform better in battle. And sometimes they'll use like new moves as well. Not all the time. We have obtained the Metatron Ore. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. Say, do you dare go get that house? Enemy backup force is approaching our location. Enemy backup force is the houses. We have shot down the enemy. We have yes. destroyed the Metatron ore. Confirmed all the enemy frames are destroyed. I will report damage to neighboring areas from this battle. There are a few damaged buildings. A few were injured or killed. I know you did your best, Leo. I'll take a seat. Say thank you. Oh, there's a module here thank you very much i think this is phalanx is it like a minigun we have obtained the program oh then we've got mummy we've got phalanx and then we've got javelin and this is what javelin is it's that thing the raptors throw it's not very good but phalanx isn't too bad it has its uh has its uses Oh, to factory one. Let's continue our objectives.
Now we will head for the local server to transplant the necessary information. But first, we need to destroy the enemy with the passcode for the local server. I see. The star-marked frames show the leaders. Destroying the leader first will lower the level of the entire party. That's what she means there, is if you kill the leader, it, it weakens them considerably. Always a good choice. That is the leader. That is the leader. Bye bye. Dead. Dead. We have shot down the enemy. We have shot down the enemy. Trying to sneak up on me, did you? You little dickens. We will cease battle position. Oh, we're nearly level two. I'm so close. Never mind. Oh, stop Damage blowing stuff up. Huh? Oh, you don't. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. Send him out of bed. Ooh, no, you don't. We have Ooh. shot down the Damn. enemy. We will cease battle position. Right, so we got oh, Metron's over there with it. But yeah, I do want to thank you guys for a thousand subs as well. We The channel's been doing amazing. Um, so I want to thank everyone for that so much. Um, so in Friday's uh, stream, which will be tomorrow, uh, I will be um, doing a giveaway. Let me give you the next mission instructions. Depart the industrial area. Really, you would drop me just to say that. At the later. But yeah, you know, I wanna just wanna thank you guys so much. You know, we've been doing really well. And I'm really proud of the community we're building as well, so I'll just thank you so much. Anyway, let's continue on. Now, I do apologize about his cutscenes, but I thought if I'm gonna play it through, I'll play it through properly and we'll get all the story. Let me report the current situation status. The enemy has taken over the colony's EPS system in order to win mastery of the air. EPS? All civilian flying objects in the colony are fueled by microwave energy from the outer EPS system, as mandated by the Environmental Protection Law. The enemy is using the EPS to form a barrier, a microwave energy field in the sky over the colony. You mean it's dangerous? Yes. Being within the energy field is like being in a microwave oven. Jehuti itself would not suffer much damage, but any vital life form would not survive. Leo. So what can we do? We have no choice but to disrupt the energy field by destroying the EPS system. This colony block has two facilities which supply EPS energy. Two EPS antennas are housed in two mountains in the center of the colony. By turning these two antennas to face each other, the enemy has created a massive microwave energy field in the center of the colony. Our first task is to destroy those two EPS antennas. There is another related target. You see the colony shaft ahead of us? It carries the main power supply to the EPS antennas from the axis of the colony. By damaging the relay block of the shaft, we can weaken the EPS energy flow, if not stop it. So, the shaft and two antennas. Okay, let's do it. Current status is that the EPS antennas are not accessible. We should journey to block D07, where the shaft is located. I will show you with a marker on the screen. Not again. I suggest you restrict yourself to your duties. I know, but... Oh, question mark. Sorry, uh, SOS peeps, but this has got to get done. We need as much money as possible. I think we're fighting these guys again as well. So, get a bit more levels. Come here. Don't. Give me that XP. Keep your lasers to yourself. We 
We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. Je suis pas gars. Damage increasing due to battle. We have shot down the enemy. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. We're so we close. Battle position. So close. We have obtained the item. Right, let's go. But yeah, roughly each episode will be about an hour, so... This game isn't hugely long, anyway. Detected vital activity near the church where your passenger was uploaded. Someone must have run away in that direction. Leo, can we go save them? I will mark the building with vital activity. What is it? Oh, there it is. We will hold battle position. Oh. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. Damage to the surroundings ah. increasing due to the battle. blowing the buildings up. We have shot down the enemy. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. Enemy backup force oh, crap. are in battle position. We have shot down the enemy. Oh, we're so close! Yes! We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. Yeah, we'll do slightly more damage. Slightly more health. Ow. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron Oil. Oof. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle. That was cool. I do not want to fight for that. That's my fault. Well, you don't. Mission accomplished. I will report damage to Oof. moving areas from this battle. Many buildings were damaged. No casualties. You did it! Well, I'm a beast. We have obtained the Metatron Ore. Luckily enough, they don't actually attack their uh, targets, so... So it says to go to City 1, but I know where to go next, so... We go here, and there'll be a new item called Quarters, which we'll need to destroy, and it'll give us a new weapon. Oh. Never mind, maybe we'd have to go to City 1 first. Egg on my face. The energy field has already reached the city. No sign of vital activity in this plot. I assume the microwave energy field has eliminated all vital forms. It's awful. So, what do you suggest? Destroy the EPS relay block at the base of the shaft. You mean I shoot from here? Yes, but it is a long shot. Besides, Jehuti's energy weapons will not work within the field. We should find some primitive long-distance weapon to impact the target physically. Where can we find such a weapon? We have confirmed the conditions at the target. Let us leave now and locate a suitable weapon. I know, I know, I know. Pick me! Pick me! Long range primitive weapon. Hmm. A sniper, perhaps?
epic foreshadowing. Well, that means all the annoying case of it. Vector trap. It appears there is a hidden object in this area. Vector trap? It is one of the Metatron related technologies. Jehuti's weapon storage system and the Orenbeck catapult are some of its applications. When you apply high energy and high speed rotation to Metatron, you can observe an effect where false space is pulled into the direction of its axis. By simultaneously putting an object at the equilibrium point of compression and expansion, space will recover to its normal condition. That's enough. I can't understand you. Say it more simply. Destroy the objects called Porter in this area, and then something will happen. That's all I wanted to know. There are several Porters. They are small, and besides, you cannot lock onto them, so be careful when you search for them. The little purple devils. Get rid of these guys first. Oh. Did I say you can shoot me? No. Stop blowing the buildings up! Oh crap, we're getting surrounded. I didn't say you could dodge. Oh, you don't! Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I get wrecked. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron Aura. We will cease battle position. We have destroyed a portal. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. Yes, I know. We have destroyed a portal. We have destroyed a portal. They look weird, don't they? Kind of like hot. But that was my fault. Has been released. Yay! Give. We have obtained the item. This is what we'll use. A primitive weapon from Earth. It should work. All right. Let's head for the shaft. Yes. Let us work the shaft. Yeah, those guys are fucking zones of all the little guys. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Destruction of the target is confirmed. I did it! EPS has switched its power supply to an emergency generator. Power is still being supplied to the EPS by an emergency generator we were unable to destroy. But since the field has shrunk, we can now approach the EPS antennas on top of the mountains. Next target is a couple of antennas. Well, let's get out of here for now, and we'll end it here. So anyway, guys. Oh, oops. So anyway, guys, I do want to thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, please uh, leave a like and comment, and uh, subscribe if you're new. And if you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to dislike it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.